Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the review for this BenQ G11 portable uh, projector and this has to be one of the most affordable portable projectors by BenQ and guys this is a review unit that I got about uh, three weeks ago so it came in this box and uh, it says the model number GV11 and it says that the resolution is 480p ah uh, yes it's it's a native 480p but don't run away watch the video and I'll show you some samples I was surprised with the results because generally projectors they do actually sampling and go over and um, uh, it was actually uh, outputting at uh, 720p and so this is the box I'll just keep it to the side and it came within the box we have actually this so uh, it's designed to be a pro uh, portable projector in fact it has a battery so it's designed to be taken along so this comes in this one and this is the projector itself and if you notice how small it is uh, let me just give you an idea uh, by putting a smartphone uh, beside it this is the Xiaomi uh, what do you say 13 Pro it's actually taller this phone is taller than this one so really really uh, actually portable and we also have a carrying case to actually take it out I'll give you a physical overview uh, we of course get a charger also in this one I wish this is a actually proprietary barrel type charger I wish it was a type C charger that's my only quibble I would say uh, apart from that we also do get a full uh, functional remote on this one I'll keep that here and we also get this tank and uh, this is actually pretty interesting I, I didn't give it a lot of thought when I got it in fact I use this projector a lot more uh, I'll show you the hours used uh, this is a review and it was used it was just used about four hours but I've watched a lot of shows etc on this one in fact completed some series also uh, so this is actually the stand and it rests over this and the beauty of the stand is that you can actually move it like this so you can angle the projector very very easily and if you even pick this up this is magnetically attached so that way i like the setup it's very easy uh, to actually use it generally with projectors it's very difficult to set up and stuff this is super super plug and play easy and uh, let me give you the physical i'll just put this to the side we do have a focusing ring over here uh, so you just move this to get the uh, perfect focus uh, we do have some buttons over here power on off bluetooth in fact you can also use it as a bluetooth speaker because this has a built-in 5 watt uh, speaker which is actually decent enough it's made by Trevelo. Uh, uh, it's a decent company for audio and uh, it's okay for a, such a small uh, what do you say uh, projector uh, we have volume up and down but again i hardly use the these buttons only i use it to power it on or off and mostly I was using it with this remote control and it works very very well in fact the same remote is actually used in a lot of BenQ high-end projectors that cost several lakhs so it's the same remote that we're getting uh, so here if you notice here are all the ports uh, on uh, this one uh, your power adapter will actually uh, go in here on this one we also have an audio out we also have a HDMI in on this one HDMI 1.4 so if you want to connect any uh, what do you say external devices or stuff like or uh, Android TV stick etc you can do that but you don't need to actually insert the Android uh, TV stick I'll show you and we also have a USB port in fact there's a hidden uh, thing it also comes with this one in the box this is the QSO1 uh, Android 10 TV stick within the package and you might be wondering where did this actually go and if i just slide this this is actually inserted uh, here as you can see so this is actually really really nice so you have this android tv stick and in fact this uh, perform much 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 better compared to many of the budget android uh, tv sticks that had uh, used it was very very fluid but there was one flaw i'll talk about that later uh, but enough of talking let's do one thing let's just put this projector here in my office in fact if you notice this is my temporary office and i don't have space for tv uh, so uh, again this projector is for people like that you just want to casually just project it anywhere i don't have a pro proper projecting screen also so we'll be just using a white wall that i have and project it to give you an idea how it performs guys i was sitting there if you noticed and uh, i have uh, kept the projector here and I'm just projecting it to one of the walls over here uh, and uh, the lights are actually switched on it's obviously better to actually switch off all the lights 
So guys, uh, this is a projector and as I've told you, you can control it with the remote that is supplied and it's very, very responsive. Let me actually show you first. This is the thing that I liked. Uh, it's very, very, very responsive. Uh, and uh, let me just uh, give you an idea and we have a dedicated button in the projector where you can actually set a few things. Uh, by default, you have a couple of modes in this one. For example, uh, the cinema mode, sports mode, uh, the living room uh, as there. So brightness and everything it sets. Uh, bright I don't like it I just really feel the cinema one is the best in terms of color reproduction uh, so let's just keep it on that and you can adjust a few things also over here uh, and you can also set it to eco mode again it's a LED projector so again the life will be very good about 20,000 hours so you don't have to worry about uh, that one sound also you can uh, change a few things the only thing uh, that I noticed is that whenever there is a lot of text right now there's text again uh, that is slightly I would say not produced that well because uh, uh, this is actually a natively a 480p uh, projector but upscaling it and when you upscale that it doesn't look good but uh, let me give you an idea uh, right now as you can see it's uh, showing 1280 by 720 uh, that means uh, it's actually projecting in 720p that's why uh, even though it's like this it looks actually good let me just uh, open up one of my own videos uh, so that uh, and again, uh, let's just search for my own videos, okay? Because I can play them without any uh, issues of copyright or whatever. Audio. Hey guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll have a look at the Xiaomi 13 Pro smartphone. And I got this, this is a review right, guys, and I got this uh, just about one and a half days ago. And when I got it, I was not that excited. Yes, it's a so YouTube video you can keep it to it actually like branding and I 4K yeah, like typical smartphone. The default actually the stick actually supports 4K. But uh, let me just give so you an so idea. I'm just the branding, but I could have been uh, wrong. I would say this is yes, this is a flagship Android smartphone coming with Snapdragon. Let's uh, also look at some other uh, 4K uh, content. Uh, and uh, let's uh, let's just uh, use this because it also has a built-in mic on the remote 4k videos so that works very well uh, as i've told you the android stick performed way better than i expected let me lower the volume you notice the volume is good let's just play this costa rica in fact let me adjust the brightness So generally I was surprised with the picture quality because I didn't expect it to be actually this good and if you're watching let's say about five feet away like I'm about six feet away um, it looks actually very very good as you can see so genuinely it surprised me in fact the colors I was not expecting that much from the colors of this projector and that performed very well that's the reason if we go to system and projector information you'll see that i've used it 24 hours as i've told you this was a review not only four hours was used so i used it for about 20 odd hours i never thought i'll use it this much so again the picture quality is pretty good and uh, again uh, let's just go back to the home and uh, I did uh, actually uh, play some shows on so also on this and all these things. Uh, Amazon Prime is there. Hot, uh, what do you say? Hot, uh, hot star and all this stuff is actually there on this one. So that way you don't have to worry. And generally, it loads pretty, pretty cool, uh, very fast. In fact, let's just play this one. I'll just quickly. See the first okay, there's an ad is coming. No. The volume let me just increase the volume to max let's just skip all this of course it's a projector and if you reduce the light in the room let me just pull the curtains St still a little bit of light is coming because i'm shooting in the morning and again, I'll just skip a little bit. Wait. 
also that way i was actually uh, worried a lot about the picture quality on this one considering natively it's a 480p but as you saw and uh, it's actually upscaling it to uh, 720p hence the picture quality was way way better than what i thought and the colors man benq is known for colors in all their projectors nothing new but i didn't expect that the colors would be this good even on this projector that's such a small uh, projector and uh, this is one of the most affordable uh, compact uh, just notice the reds generally reds is the problem with budget projectors but here the colors are produced brilliantly on this one so overall i would say when i got this projector to be very frank i was like meh what but again if you sit about five six feet away and uh, your what do you say uh, projection that you're keeping realistic let's say uh, this must be about 55 inch what i'm doing up to about 70 inches i would say it is decent enough anything above it becomes very very soft let's be very realistic and um, yes it's a portable projector uh, let me just switch on the light and give you an idea it uh, works on battery power also now to give you an idea guys as i've told you this works over battery power also so i'm just going to remove the adapter and as you can see i've removed the adapter and it says power adapter is unplugged and it plays uh, like this for on battery power they claim about two and a half hours i got about two hours 20 minutes yes the uh, brightness goes down a little bit but again even on this battery power as you can see it works very well again uh, it could play everything even on battery power best thing about this projector is the true portability that you get this is actually my bedroom guys and in evenings i just place it uh, near the bed like this uh, without any power because it's battery powered and I just watch stuff uh, here because I have an empty wall in this area. And as you can see, even on battery power, the projection is uh, pretty good. Uh, again, uh, it becomes slightly better if uh, at night because uh, a lot of ambient night is coming. But if you notice, the picture quality is still pretty good uh, even with the battery power. That is what I liked with this uh, projector. This is actually a truly a portable, uh, what do you say, projector. So guys, this is the BenQ GV11 uh, projector and in India, I was checking Amazon guys, it's priced around 38,000 or so. I'll leave the link in the description. And for that price for a portable projector from BenQ, uh, again guys, BenQ, Epson, Sony, JVC, these are the top in the projector industry. And the colors that I was getting on this one, I that was, was the big thing for me. I thought that being such a small projector, the color accuracy will not be there on this one, but I was so wrong. Uh, the colors were very, very pleasing. But again, guys, let's keep our expectations realistic. This is a sm uh, small portable projector. So I would say, yes, it can project even a 90 inch screen or something. 90 to 100 inch screen uh, if you really want but i would say the sweet spot for this one is between 50 to about 70 inches because if you go over that the pictures become simply too soft so again keep if you keep your expectations realistic uh, and if you're looking for a very uh, small portable projector you can have a look at this one coming to the two cons that i have with this one again as i've told you you have to keep your expectations realistic don't go overboard about 60 65 inches of projection because it gets very very soft and for general movie watching and everything it was a very pleasing experience because it indirectly upscales from 480p as you know with the native uh, stick it goes to 720p and it's decent uh, but the problem is that whenever there was text on the screen I feel uh, that does not look that great on this projector because natively it's just a 480p projector upscaling that content so if you have a lot of written text that I feel does not come out really good and also though this uh, built-in stick that we have within the projector works very very fluid in fact way better than many of the budget Android sticks that we get in the market uh, but uh, uh, this one does not support Netflix so for Netflix you might have to use a Amazon fast stick I tested it with this Xiaomi uh, stick 4k and it, uh, then Netflix work but Netflix is not natively supported on this projector 
Personally, I would say if you have a slightly higher budget, uh, we also have an elder brother of this one that is known as the GB30. That's for about 49 to 50,000. Again, I'll leave the link of Amazon in the description. Uh, but personally, uh, for me, I would say if I am going for a portable projector, uh, I would have opted for the BenQ GS50. Uh, that's a proper native 1080p projector, uh, far more powerful. It has 500 ANSI lumens. Uh, yes, it's slightly expensive, about 75,000. But again, if budget is not an issue, I would say that's one of the best pro portable projector. But again, uh, for the compact uh, size, this GV11 is not bad. But what do you feel about this uh, BenQ GV11? Do let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.